What's going on, Art Adventures? Welcome back. Today, we are going to add on to our first basic go-kart and just make it a little bit more interesting. I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. All right, guys, so before we start, I wanna give you guys a heads up. I'm gonna speed through this really quick and uh, I'm just gonna fast forward it so it's less time. If you need to know exactly how to build this, either pause it or go back to my last video. All right guys, so for this next step, we're gonna need six of these green flexible rods and then three of these green connectors. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and show you guys what I did uh, for each step. So just like the first um, go-kart that we did, we're gonna attach one piece to the front here, another one to the front there at the very top standing pretty much straight up. I know this one's a little curved, so it might look a little wonky, um, but we're going straight to the top connectors, okay? Once we do that, we're gonna curve these down and go to that angled connector. Curve that down, go to the angled connector. So that has one space and then boom, it's connected there. So you have the same exact go-kart as we started off with on the last one. Now, this is what's different. We're gonna take two of these green rods and we are going to go, just like we went into the, the first slot here on these, we're gonna go into the first slot on this one. But we're gonna enter through the center of our original two green ones. Because if you go on the outside, it's gonna look a little bit different. I don't want it to look different, I want it to look the same. So we're gonna go with the other one in the center, okay? And it's gonna go into that connector between the green and the red rods, okay? So it's gonna look a little weird, but it's gonna have two things sticking out through the middle. It might cross a little bit um, because they're being pushed by this, okay? All right guys, so once you have this part done, you're gonna take a green connector. And if you notice, you have four slots that you can connect the rods in. Now what we're gonna do is use the two center ones and we're gonna snap them in sideways. Like that. So now it looks like we have two rods sticking out of the side and you have a connector here. The rods may still be straight, that's fine. Now we're gonna go to the back side, okay? The front already has two connections here. This one only has one. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take two more of these flexible green rods and we're gonna slide them into the top connection points. So there's gonna be a red, a green connection, and then another green connection. So the side look is gonna look like this, kinda look like a lawnmower in a sense. And now we're gonna connect this green connector to these two green rods and try to get it to bend a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend it a little bit more until we get a good connection on the side. And the same thing here, we're gonna have to bend it a little bit to get a good connection on the side. And then we're going to take this connection and kind of push it down a little bit and that's gonna give us the curve that we're looking for on the inside. So where we have a nice little curve here and it pops up, comes out, and then this curves that way and this is still curving this way. Now on the tail side, we're gonna take a green connector and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did here. We're gonna use the outside on the left and on the right. And we're gonna connect to the sides here and that's gonna keep our tail uniform through the entire time so it's the same length and it's not crossing over. We're gonna take our last green connector and we're gonna put it right on the very top. This doesn't need a connector to stay in place, it's already in place, but we're gonna add our steering wheel. And in order to add 
our steering wheel, we need to put it through a centerpiece, and this is gonna be our centerpiece. Okay guys, so for the last step, we're gonna need a white rod, a black small wheel, two of these little headlight things, which are like this uh, highlighter yellow. You are going to put this white rod through the center of this green connector, okay? Again, through the center of that green connector. You're gonna take this yellow highlighter half dome. You're gonna put it on the top, okay? That's gonna keep it from falling. You're gonna put the second one on the back side with enough space for this to stick out a little bit. Then you're gonna take your little wheel and you are going to put the back side connected there. And there you have it. That is your go-kart. These work very well. They fly, if you push them, you give them a good nudge. Um, but uh, there's plenty of ways to make different go-karts. This one kind of looks um, like a, a like kind of a big spoiler, or almost in a sense looks like a uh, lawnmower. But um, that's how we uh, just built our second go-kart, guys. I'm gonna get more of these uh, kind of buildings to you. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. See ya. Peace.